Yes, and now the first category five. Yep. It reached Just category now. five status on the 10 p.m. advisory tonight. So th this is a dangerous storm. Mm -hmm. I will say that some of the conditions in the Caribbean could weaken it a tad before landfall on the Yucatan. We'll talk about some Texas impact. So we're, we're starting to see some of what could happen here and exactly where. But remember, all the data we're showing you tonight, global ensemble forecasting. So not until we get into some of the high-res data a little bit later this week can we really put a lot more confidence in the forecast. Let's start in San Antonio and the heat. That's our story. 99 today, up I-35, even hotter for New Braunfels. 100, state capital, triple digits. Floresville there with Del Rio. Catula even 101. In San Antonio, we should be stopping at 94. We kind of rested right in between both, right? By five degrees off the average, and then five degrees shy of a 1980 record of 104. This does remind me to ask you, please help us. Project Cool continues. Drop off a brand new box fan at any San Antonio fire station. You can even bring one by the Guadalupe Community Center right across the street from Lanier High School on Cesar Chavez Boulevard between 830 and 530. We really need fans. There are people trying to get through this summer heat without air conditioning or they can't afford to fix it. 91 on the thermometer still tonight. Feels like 96. The winds, well, 11 miles per hour helps, but an 18 to 20 mile per hour breeze would be even better. It would also help sweep some of this dust out of the air. I think we're going to feel and see a little bit more of this haze on Tuesday. It starts to thin out tomorrow night heading into Wednesday. Let's talk barrel. This storm now producing winds sustained, sustained of 160 miles per hour. Now a category five moving at 22 miles per hour. That's pretty quick. That's a fast clip for these systems, but look at the symmetry of this system. I mean, just very impressive with storms just blowing up. Beelining towards Jamaica should stay pretty far south of Puerto Rico. They will see a lot of rainfall, but will not be impacted directly with this storm. All right, let's take a look at the spaghetti models. This is an ensemble of all the computer forecasts, and it determines the cone of probability. High pressure that's keeping us hot and dry slides towards Florida. That opens the door for this system to go into the Yucatan Peninsula by probably Friday afternoon into Friday night. Then it emerges out over the Gulf of Mexico. This is where it's going to get interesting. If the high is far enough out to the east, it could get picked up on that western periphery. Remember, clockwise winds around the high send it into southwest Louisiana. Look at how many models are saying that. Then there's another pretty good consensus on models moving it pretty far south of South Padre with just a few into the South Padre area. And with all these colors, you might even think Hurricane Barrel, once making landfall, is going to be color rain, right? I mean, a lot of colors. But here's what the cone of probability is saying. As a Cat 5, it's expected to weaken a bit as it moves through the Caribbean, then only a tropical storm once in the Gulf of Mexico. So again, we're going to know a lot more, and it's going to be about this time next week before we start seeing some impact. All right, the first uh, seven of our 14-day forecasts will show you nothing but heat for this first full work week of July. Notice that on the 4th, we'll hit 100. So with added time outdoors, make sure you're hydrating with the heat index of like 103 to 105. Rain chances will come in. As that high moves east, we could see sea breeze showers. 30% on Monday is going to be in direct association with barrel. So these chances could go up because impact days on Hurricane Barrel go through Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. And that's going to be Thursday the 11th. Heading into our second weekend of our 14-day forecast, notice about a 10% chance of rain. And notice what else happens. Those temperatures will come down just a few degrees. Right now, the 4th of July looking good, Nate Ryan. 14